Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring. Another opportunity at our disposal now that we have arrived in the consecrated snowfield is to complete all three Anastasia invasions, the final one of which will reward us with the somber ancient dragon smithing stone. This is what you use to make the final upgrade of any unique weapon to plus 10. We've already acquired one and applied it to the Carrion Regal Scepter. Let's go get somber ancient dragon smithing stone number two. Now, these Anastasia invasions were previously bugged, but now they're now they've been patched apparently. And uh, well, they have been patched because I have run through all three of them a number of times. No hitches, no glitches, no hiccups. So it should be smooth sailing, especially if you've been following my walkthrough. Meaning, I'm assuming everybody has the Night Comet spell. What you don't? Go back and watch Part 86. That's Part 86, Sully of the Town of Sorcery, for the Night Comet spell, which is by far by far the easiest way to handle invasions as you've all seen throughout this walker. All right, all three Anastasia invasion missions. Let's go, let's get it done. Major Slack videos. Okay, we last left off here uh, at the Zamar Ruins. I was doing a little farming and the first Anastasia invasion mission takes place at the Smoldering Church in Kalid. And let me just show you what we've got going on here. We're just going to use the Carrying Regal Scepter, a plus 10. Um, these are my Talismans, Ritual Sword, Graven School, Taker's Cameo, and the Gold Scarab. Uh, we're not going to need any summons. And the armor doesn't really mean anything because we're not going to get hit, I don't think. And here are my stats in case you haven't been following the walkthrough. <clears throat> Pardon me. The most important is we got Intelligence at 80 and we have enough to cast at least five enough fp to cast at least five night comets which should be enough to do in all of the invasions maybe six or seven on the final one so each night comet is 24 yeah you need around maybe 150 200 fp all right so we're all ready this kicks off at the smoldering church the smoldering church is that the west end of Kalid is right here. That's exactly where it is. Our closest location that we've already discovered is the Rotview Balcony. All right, everybody go to the Rotview Balcony in Kalid. From here, we're going to go to the northwest, north by northwest to be exact. Got the Night Comet ready and oh, ready to go. North by northwest, jump over this wall here, and you can see the church right there. The smoldering church. Now typically what happens with these invasions is as you approach them, if you are getting invaded, you'll get kicked off your horse. That's when you know that the invasion is about to happen. This might not happen right away. But all you have to do to get it to happen up this nomadic warriors cookbook uh, number 14 I believe this will allow us to make poison pots if I'm not mistaken I think this is the thing that was added poison pots and missionaries cookbook number three I believe this will allow us to make silver pickled fowl fowl foot so we can now make as many of those as we like All right now if she didn't invade when you first came here um, I, I thought this was like permanently bugged um, as everybody's been talking about, but I found that you just simply rest. Discover the Sight of Grace. Rest. Get up. Get on your horse. Gallop out. And you see you get kicked off the horse, that means the invasion is happening. Works for me. I've tried this three times. It works every time. So if you've been following this walkthrough, it should work for you. There she is. Blast her with Night Comet. As you're backing away. And Bob's your uncle. That's it. That's all. That's the strategy for every single invasion. Blast her with Night Comet as she's backing away. And this will reward us for the Sacred Scorpion Charm. Sacred Scorpion Charm. Let's take a little look-see here. Raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. Here you go, talisman. Carried by assassins who strike unseen. Pattern on the scorpion. Da 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 da. Raises holy attack by robot. Lowers damage negation. Alright, so that's that. One done.
Having done that, you are now el eligible to do Anastasia Invasion number two, which takes place at the Corpse Stench Shack. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> um, this is up at a location that's kind of remote from where we have been so far. It's right northeast of um, Volcano Manor. The Volcano Manor District is going to show you exactly where it is. It's right here. Okay, that's exactly where it is. Now to get there, um, we're going to have to go to Gelmer Heroes, Heroes Grave, go north, then down this way, and there's a ladder right here that we can take down. And it's a bit of a hot landing zone here, but that's okay. We can just hop on our horse, race up here. It's going to be some doggies around this area here. We should take care of the doggies before we do the invasion. Then approach the church. We get invaded, take her down, and Bob's your uncle. All right, so that's the plan. Let's do it. All right, so we've been through here before. Let's just take the elevator back up. And it is early day, that's perfect. Out we go. Hop on your horse, and you're going to turn to the north. Ignore the doggies. Maybe pick up this stuff here. Whoops. I think that's just some mushrooms. It's hardly worth it. I don't think I even got it. Anyways, I think it's just some mushrooms. Keep going to the north. And you're going to come upon this, this tower right here. See this tower? Kind of like yard tower. Drop on down here, and turn to the east. And you're going to keep the cliff side to your right. Just hug the cliff on your right and go all the way down here. Keep going, jump over the tree, keep going, and you eventually come upon a side of grace right in front of a graveyard, a runestone graveyard. What did I say, runestone? A runes graveyard. Okay, rest up to get all the enemies off your butt. And there are five golden runes to collect here. Might as well grab them since we're here. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that's five. Let me just double check. Elliot. I think that's all of them. Okay, so now we're going to take the ladder down. And like I said, it's going to be a hot landing zone. It's going to be a couple of those abductor virgins at the bottom. But typically it takes them um, a few seconds to react to your presence so you have enough time to hop on your horse and gallop away to the northwest. All right, and I think we can even see. Yep, you could, you could just, just see it right there. There it is, the corpse. Is that it? Could be further around the corner. Anyways, it's in that direction. Okay, so here you can see those abductive virgins at the bottom. Don't worry about it. Slide on down. Hop on your horse. And a high hole silver away. Down. Horse. Turn to the northwest. And get the F out of dodge. Now you're going to keep the cliffs on your left side. There's the shack right there. What you want to do is take down the dogs first. Because you don't want to be dealing with the dogs and Anastasia at the same time. Okay, so keep your distance from that shack there. Okay. And we're just going to make the tour around and get rid of the doggies. This one over here. Once the coast is sufficiently clear, approach the shack carefully. She's going to spawn, and you know the routine night comets while you're backing away. There 
there she is. That's number two. And this rewards you with the butcher knife, the sacred butcher knife. It's a great axe, I believe, with um, the barbaric roar, ash of war on it. Here it is, right here. A great axe. Huh. Never actually tried it. <laughs> Oh man, that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it acts just like a barbaric roar. The barbaric roar gives you like turns all strong attacks into a combo. Like a three hit combo. No bleed damage. Pretty good damage. Anyways, I don't think we're gonna be working into that that into our repertoire, but you have it now. All right, so that's it now. Like I said, that we have um, uncovered the consecrated snowfield. The third and final Anastasia invasion mission takes place right here. Okay, see the river here. See the bend in the river, and it's just like just due south of Ordina Liturgical Town. Town. You see this kind of like rocky this oblong rocky shape here it's directly below that I'd say right about here that's where it takes place now there's a lot of these wolf wolf back archers in the area they're a pain in the arse we're just gonna like dodge around them to get down to the evasion all right so everybody start out by going to Ordina liturgical town here in the consecrated snowfield All right. Um, let's wait till daytime. You could spend a lot of time taking down all these wolfback archers, which are a royal pain in the arse. There's one over there. There's one over there. He's not a wolfback archer, but he's also an archer. Or you could just kind of like dodge around them. It's a lot easier. Because, you know, we're, we're men and women on a mission. So, we want to, like, dodge that one. Go around to the, the left here. And there's another one over in that area there. See right there? Okay, so he's patrolling back and forth. So, from here, let's just go. So that one's over there. He's over there. Let's just go straight down. And should be able to avoid them all. And once we get down there, you see there's a pack of wolves there. Switch over to your great glintstone shard. Hop off your horse right about here. We're gonna take care of all those wolves first, so don't get too close to the uh, the shore. Break Glintstone Shard should be able to take them all down. Done and done. Switch back over to Night Comet. Refill. And we're gonna carefully approach the shore. This is gonna be a tough one. Should take maybe five or six Night Comets. We'll probably run out of stamina, but it's very doable. So as soon as you see here, lock on Night Comets. Looks like there's uh, an invisible teardrop scarab here too. We're gonna take care of that right after this. Come on now. Don't make a liar in any game. Oh, see, I can't, I can't get on my horse here. She's about to spawn. There she is. Right, here we go. And that's all she wrote. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Give me my somber, ancient, dragon, smithing stone. Da 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 da. <laughs> Pretty dramatic, slack. Well, there's only eight. Count them, eight of these suckers in the entire game. Okay, so 
Yeah, this is a pretty valuable acquisition. Really valuable acquisition. There you go, somber ancient dragon smithing stone. All right, so there is a teardrop scarab here. I never knew this. You can see his footy prints. You can hear him like you know. Let's see what we get. Here he comes, I think. Missed him. Okay, he should be by here again. The meteoric or blade with the gravitas skill is the best way to take care of these guys. He just went by here again. Here he comes. Got it. The White Shadows Lure? Who the what now? Huh. That's a new one to me. Let's slap that on something. Say, uh, the Antsper Rapier. Can we put it on that? First of all, where is it? Here we go. Some kind of buff. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it looks like, uh. Looks like some kind of decoy. Here we go. White Shadow's Lure. Hold armament in a brief silent prayer to create a white shadow. The apparition lures in foes of human build who are not in combat, drawing their aggression. Effective on demi-humans even if they are already in a combat state. Huh. Must play with. Oh boy, a new toy. Okay, so that's that. Next, um... <laughs> to round off this video, um... What are we going to spend the somber ancient dragon smithing stone on, Slack? Good question. Good question. I have a very likely candidate, but I don't want to make that decision until after we beat the fire giant and go into the crumbling fair of Missoula. I'm like 90% sure what I want to spend it on, but like I said, I want to do the fire giant first, which is coming up fairly shortly, maybe even next video. And then once we break into the crumbling fair of Missoula, in which we're going to have to put on our bigger boy pants. I asked you to put on your big boy pants when you came into the mountaintops of the Giants. Uh, when we get to the crumbling fair of Missoula, we're going to have to put on our bigger boy pants. Okay, seriously. Um, one thing, another thing we could do now that we're here in uh, the Consecrated Snowfield, we can go get the Graven Mass Talisman. This is kind of like the sister to a talisman that we've had equipped for quite a while. The Graven School Talisman. This, is this raises all the potency, or rather the damage of all sorceries, by 4%, if I'm not mistaken, 4%. The Graven's Mass Talisman raises, um, does the same thing, except it does it by 8%, and they are stackable. That means we could put both on and get a total of 12%. So let's go do that now. This is pretty easy. Seeing everybody has some crystal darts, and... This takes place right here at the... I forget the name of that. The Albanoric, that's the name I'm looking for. The Albanoric Rise. Okay, it's right there. We just start off at the Inner Consecrated Snowfield and ride over.
Looks like we got another uh No, okay, my bad. Let's go. Okay, off to the east here. This should be fairly uneventful. Except for the fact that visibility gets really poor. Here we are, the Almanoric Rise. This is another puzzle situation. Okay, examine. You must solve the puzzle to enter. How do we solve the puzzles? Like, this is how you solve the puzzle. It's pretty easy. Go over here and you see two fanged imps fighting. So all you have to do is get two of these imps here. There's one on either side. There may be more, but I've noticed that there's always one on either side. Get them to fight one another. And the easiest way to do that is to just throw some crystal darts at them. Because that always gets them, like, um, enraged, and then they'll attack anything. Okay, get them chasing you. Go around to this side. Jump up here. And there should be another one over here. Hopefully he comes up. Roll away. Get them engaged with one another. As soon as one kills the other, he solved the puzzle. See, the seal on the rise has opened. Another way to solve this puzzle, though, will cost us 2,000 runes. Hey there, little buddy. Okay, you got a death wish here. There you go. You have your wish. Another way is to go buy the fanged imp ashes if you don't already have them. You can buy those from... Let me just first go up. I don't know why you'd want to do that unless you actually want the Fang Dam Dashes. Because it costs 2,000 runes, so you're basically spending 2,000 runes to, to solve this puzzle. Okay, and climb the ladder. And grab yourself the Craven Mass Talisman. Right now, like I said, you can stack these. So I think pretty much henceforth in any situation where we don't desperately need to recover health, we can replace the Taker's Cameo with the Graven Mass Talisman. And now we're getting 12% better damage on all our sorceries with these two stacked together. Alright? And like I said, um, if you couldn't get those imps to fight, or if you just like want the fanged imp ashes, you can go buy them for 2,000 runes. Here at the Academy Gate, Side of Grace. Okay. Go there. And you're going to point east. Right down the hill all the way down to the bottom and there's a merchant at the bottom of the hill Slide down. Okay, and there you go. The Fang Dim Bashes. Buy those. Go back to the Albanoric Rise. Cast them. And that counts as in one imp killing another, assuming that your Fanged Imp Ashes prevail and kill one of those imps. Alright, so that's another way to do that. So that's that. Um, yeah. 
think that's pretty much everything I wanted to do on my list before taking on the fire giant. Just looking at my laptop here. There is one more thing we could do, but that's not really going to make much difference. Yeah, that, so fire giant is next, I'm pretty sure. Yes, the dreaded fire giant fight. Everybody dreads this fight. I have two ways of taking him down. Previously, I used to use Rock Sling to great effect. I've now discovered a, a much better strategy. Much better. Rock Sling is pretty effective, um, but I have a much better strategy. Just totally, totally manhandles him. Pretty sure that's coming up next. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, tell your friends about my channel, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.